Today we're going to make some nitric acid with, in my opinion, the most efficient and easiest way to make it. I believe that nitric acid is one of the most exciting acids that you can have in your lab. When you dissolve metals in it, it looks just really cool and it's also a gateway to a bunch of nitro molecules. For this experiment you will need 340 grams of potassium nitrate and 160 meters of 96% sulfuric acid. 340 grams of potassium nitrate was added to the round bottom flask. You can use any types of nitrate but you may want to scale it accordingly. After which every joint was sealed with concentrated sulfuric acid. You can't use regular vacuum grease because the nitric acid will eat right through it. I've additionally added 75 milliliters of water to stop it from becoming too concentrated but you can skip this step. Remember without water it will become a fuming nitric acid and you really don't want to use gloves when near it. After sealing every joint you put your apparatus together. This is the most basic apparatus you can use and if you want you can get water into the condenser. Please don't laugh. When you're ready, add all your sulfuric acid to the flask. First, not much will happen, but after you hit it up, you will see blood red fumes emerging from flask. It's nitrogen dioxide and it's toxic, although, ironically, in my opinion, it smells nice in small concentrations. Now, run the distillation for 2 to 3 hours and you've got your clear acid. You can run another distillation to concentrate the acid, but I've just added fuming nitric acid to the camera. To the off camera. To it off camera, not to the camera. Fucking. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> Left in the flask you will have some potassium bisulfate, which is very soluble in water and you can just easily wash it off. Remember to subscribe because I will use this acid to produce some really cool things on this channel.